Hello and welcome back to Let's Play 25 Years of Final Fantasy. This is Final Fantasy 3 and my name is Ryan. And this is Claire. And uh, we have a beverage. It is a Coney Island Brewing Company hard root beer. Throw your taste buds. Are you tall enough to ride? I am. Alright. Cheers. Mm. This is our second hard root beer. Mm. It's very sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet. Does it bring you back to the boardwalk? I can't say I've ever been to the boardwalk. <laughs> Have you been to New York? No. Never. Me either. I don't. Where is Coney Island, actually? I should know that, but I don't. I think it's New York City, isn't it? Is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So hopefully today we're going to do it. Hopefully today we're going to beat this thing um, and call it a game. That'd be nice. That would be nice. We will see what happens. We're heading up the tower, right? Yeah, and it looks like there's a bunch of treasure on this level, so we'll have to do some okay. exploring. Cool. Get some treasures. I mean, we've maxed out jobs. Goodness knows. Yeah, stocked up a little bit on shurikens. Yeah. Since hopefully we'll try to remember to use those on the final boss. <laughs> we have a bunch though, right? We bought a bunch, I think. We bought a few. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't really realize how cool looking this place was. Yeah, this place is very blue. Looks like icy. a Mega Man Ice level or something. Yeah, definitely. Very neat. Crystal? Is that where it's it? Is that what we're assuming? I think it is supposed to be like a crystal tower. Yeah. Block it. Ah, block it. That block it's got a hole in it. <laughs> That's a way back. That's a way back. That's a way back reference. <laughs> Can't buy no beer. Or bleer. <laughs> what if what if beer was called bleer? That'd be great. It'd be a weird world. You think there's a beer called bleer? Oh, I, I can only hope. <laughs> If there's not, someone needs to like make a homebrew. Make called, a bleer. Called bleer. Makes me think of Fleer, the training cart. Oh yeah, the company. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Just flame, flame devils. devils. No problem. Every everyday average flame devils. <sighs> so I got. I'm gonna stag this jump us right in, Ryan. Do it. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but I've been. I saw parts, little snippets of Chrissy playing it. Um, this game called Undertale mm -hmm. came out. Uh, came out this week and it's really cool um, it's it. people have described it as it looks like Earthbound meets WarioWare hmm. it, that's a it, weird it, combination it, it, it's like the Wario, like WarioWare art style kind of but it's like an RPG in some of the Battles of Minigames but um, there, you remember back way back in Dragon Warrior when we were talking about like an RPG where you could interact with the monsters in a different way mm -hmm. like you didn't have to kill them and that's like the whole premise of this game is that you can like dance with the monsters and flirt with them or like I saw one monster it's just it's like a muscle horse seahorse and its name it's just called an Aaron and <laughs> and to to beat Aaron you have to outflex him like <laughs> and, and stuff like that oh whoa it's Gamor Gamori 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 it's supposed to be Gamora like, yeah like yeah like the city like the city Saddam and Gamori <laughs> Saddam and Gamori Saddami <laughs> Oh wait, that's just out of me. <laughs> wait, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, can we figure it out? Mm. She did a drain attack. At least she's not petrifying. Give her time. <laughs> so there's um new trailers and stuff for Final Fantasy 15 that have been coming oh, out. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I only saw one for Persona 5, and it looks really cool. I just I keep hearing about Persona. Like I have. Uh, RSS feeds and they have like stories about Persona yeah. 5 and I just breeze right past them. I just, I don't know, I just don't, I don't have a connection to the series so I don't really care. I think I watched the first trailer that came out for it and I was like, this is cool, the art is very cool, and then I never paid yeah. attention again. I think, I, I, I think you're probably missing out. Maybe you should, maybe 5 is a good entry point. Because the other, 4 hasn't, it's been since 2008. Yeah, that's the thing, so is that if it's coming out, is it coming out on PS4? Um, I think so. Okay, yeah. and that would probably be the thing, is that, like, I just don't want to bust out my old consoles. Like, that's, that's part of what's stopping me from picking up 3? Is it 3 that I was playing? Which one? 3? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one is on is on the PS2? There are a bunch. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think 3, 4... Is, uh, is 4 on the PS2? Maybe it was 4 that I was playing. Yeah, it was on... It was on... 
PS2. But there was like others, like no, I think like Nocturne and so there were a bunch. That's like my new thing is that like I want them, I want developers to make um, HD ports for the PS4 so that I don't have to plug in my other consoles <laughs> to play games. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Like, the Rare Replay is just, like, so perfect. Like, it's <laughs> like, I'm going to buy an Xbox One just so I don't have to plug in my N64. <laughs> like, that sounds a little backwards. <laughs> it does. But, hopefully, the final will be cool. I mean, um, it got a major update for Golden when it came out for Vita. Mm-hmm. That's, like, the definitive version. Like, it adds extra content, and... I don't know. I think, cause I think when the Brainy Gamer replayed it, like... That was what he was playing was golden. Hmm. Okay. But it's got the gamey or gamey brainer. <laughs> it's got the gamey brainer seal of approval. I kind of I thought he kind of fell off the face of the planet. He still makes like occasional posts. I feel like, but he kind of did. I think he might just be devoting himself to other stuff. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna find out. He's also for you. like heavily involved in like theater and stuff. Yeah. He, well, he's a he's like a theater professor. It sounds oh, right. Wow, he yeah. always seemed very Midwestern to me. I don't think he's updated since. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know what happened. Yeah, he hasn't stopped. He hasn't posted since June 25th, 2014. Oof. I hope he's alright. I'm sure he's fine. Just busy. Yeah. Huh. That's so sad. He had a, he, his was great. But his site looks slightly different. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, it, maybe there'll be a return. But in these trailers for 15 they're showing off some of the driving that looks pretty cool they're showing off um in the most most recent stuff from tgs they're showing off riding chocobos around and you can yeah. drift on the chocobos oh, <laughs> no. also uh, have blux ever summoned before and have they ever summoned such a horrible monstrosity oh, i don't know <laughs> this weird i feel like we remember, purple i remember gold. them doing this but i don't remember that thing because it's really cool i can't really make out what it is though yeah it's <laughs> once again it's a sprite that I just from cannot my, parse. From my vantage point, it kind of looks like a series of decorative marbles on a string around <laughs> a, a cabbage. That sounds exactly right. With a with a like a sandworm sticking its tongue out from the bottom. So it's a cabbage wearing jewelry <laughs> with a worm in it. I think that's. It's a very well dressed cabbage. Yeah. What is its name? Hmm. Oh, you're gonna haul it? Okay. I might, right. I might blow it up. We'll never know. It's like, it's a weird eldritch abomination. Uh, oh, it did nothing. It did hardly anything, okay. Uh, like, uh, Uni and... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's from the same uh, same uh, class. Gargle, gargle, Dorga. Yeah, yeah. Dorger. Sure. Dorga. Oh, it's a Dorga clone. That's oh, okay. well, that's probably why <laughs> yeah, it was no familiar. wonder it felt so oh, familiar. Oh, weird. <laughs> Okay, so now we've seen Dorga clones and we've seen Uday clones, so... They're just harvesting they're, they're, our, yeah. our trauma for our memories. Uh, projecting it into this realm. It's like we've entered the dream space. Oh, we've picked up the white sand. Again? It smells like pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> I have no problem. You're all done. Yeah, 15 looks really nice. Um, What's weird is that I was reading something about an interview that they did with one of the directors, producers, something or other, and it sounds like they're still designing some of the, like, quest and story content, and I'm like, this game's supposed to come out next year, and, like, you're not, like, (laughs) like, kind of done with some of that stuff? Like, I don't know. And, like, major features haven't been decided on, like, they don't know if they're going to have airships yet. It's like, (laughs) I feel like you should probably know that if you're a year out. Jeez. Yeah, I don't... Mm. I don't know. You know, maybe it's just a square something. <laughs> they just fly by the seat of their many zip, bezippered pants. Yeah, many bezippered pants. Yeah. Yeah. Much bezippered. Yeah. Once again, Square Enix failing to inspire confidence. Yeah. yeah. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll just be delayed to 2017. And <laughs> I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> well, End we'll probably the, be there by the time left. it comes out. <laughs> yeah, right? Isn't it all dudes on the cast? And yeah, the main four characters are all lands. This little lame. I don't really understand why they went that direction. Well, I, re- I remember seeing something where the where the developer was just like, you know, it's like that side of the story that's never been told before. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> like, okay. 
It's just like, yeah, after the success of 13 as a series and Lightning as a character and everything, yeah. like, just to just not have female characters seems <sighs> pointless and dumb. But there's Short -sighted. fishing. There is fishing. <laughs> fishing did not look terribly exciting. <laughs> when is it ever exciting? Animal Crossing fishing? Yeah, it's probably Animal the Crossing most Harvest exciting. Moon, but it's when it's like a relaxing meditative experience. You know, if it's like a... You can't like drift your fish or Although, something. Although, I will say the thing that seemed <laughs> most appealing about the fishing in 15 is the little celebration they did after catching the fish and how they were just like clapping each other on the back and just being like, oh yeah, man. and then they eat it later. Because really part of what excites me, <laughs> excites me the most about 15 is this whole... I don't know if you've seen the, the screenshots and stuff of the food in the game. No. It's it... like the most beautiful video game food of all time. Oh, so it's key. Does it, does it have like a cooking component? Is that like part of it? I, I, that was the implication by this fishing okay, trailer. That's that pretty you can cool. use the fish you catch to, to cook food for yourself. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> cooking mini games are acceptable. <laughs> so that's how we put fishing in the game is by allowing you to cook it. And then you're good with it. Be able to farm, put it in the back of your, your vehicle, have some like you know that your hashtag. Whoa! Oh goodness! It's oh. Kumquams. <laughs> oh, Wait, oh. what? Whoa! Wait, what is this? What is this now? What is this garbage? Are they like Master Tomberries kind of like Proto Master Tomberries? That's what they look like. That's some fucking. They're just bullshit. specters of death. Are the two that didn't die the ones that have protect rings? No. Ribbons? Mm -hmm. They didn't get a cast on them yet. <laughs> I don't know what I should do here. Uh, can you holy the whole group? No, you probably can't. I can, but I don't want to. Oh, okay. I don't think it'll kill them. I want to try to kill them as quickly as oh, possible. Oh, well, that's alright. Well, that's stupid, and I hate it. Come, come on, you know? Like, come on. <laughs> come, come on! Don't do that right now. <sighs> they didn't even do it. Oh. Alright, so maybe these two are immune to death. Maybe that's the thing. Well, it's just, I mean, that's pretty rude. It's like, you just step out on the floor, too. And yeah, like, just all of a sudden, we're just getting annihilated by death noped. spells. You got noped. You got hard note. Hard note. That was a no. You said, hey, you maybe want to go out for, you know, a potion or something? <laughs> go out for a potion. And they were just like, hmm. <laughs> just, just X. It's a solid X. Do they ever work potion and, and the items into the lore of the games where you, like... Hmm. It's like something characters talk about, like, I could really go for a potion. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Didn't they make a soda called Potion or something like that? There was like oh. a purchasable merchandise. There was like an energy drink that was like yeah, health potion or mantin potion. I think that's probably what it was. Yeah. I, uh, there's also, there's a soundtrack, like a live, like a live version, like piano or something called Final Fantasy Potion, Relaxing Final Fantasy. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah, it's really neat. Huh. Yeah, totally. Some stuff. Undertale, though, you should check it out. Oh, uh, Shazerus already has, I know, because um, um, Shazerus has a bunch of fan art on um, Tumblr, I think. Oh, okay. yeah, I think that's right. Don't forgive me if that's wrong. But I think of the Skeleton Brothers. There's these two skeletons, uh, Papyrus and Sans, like Comic Sans. They're, they're, they're font skeletons. Wait, we should check and see. So Tony died. Tony definitely doesn't have a protector anymore. Andy died. Andy also definitely doesn't have to protect anything. But what does Lisa have? I Genji. guess the Genji armor oh. must be what's protecting. Oh, I her. guess. And then what about Andy? Have the oh, ribbon. protect ring. Ribbon and protect ring. Oh shit. Red's you don't think? Ring. I don't think the protect ring actually. Uh... Do either of them protect the next guy? Yeah, I think the ribbon does. Oh, it's a platinum. Oh, he's really cool. Wait, he's in, he he's a guy that we fought before. Oh, is he? He's a boss. I forget which one. Mm. Platinum. Ah, oh, who is he? Uh, is he like a platinum demon? No. You remember we, we fought, I don't know, he had a purple cape and yellow armor last time, I'm pretty sure. Was that Goldor? Maybe it was Goldor. Oh, is that a Goldor sprite? Wait a minute. Uh, now he's very purple with a red cape. That's the opposite. Well, it's actually a, the compliment. Hmm? Goldor. Oh, gosh. Sharsh. <laughs> Gotta find it out. Goldor? I love a good gold order. You know, we're just checking out, just cruising on the infraweb right now. And, uh, oh yeah, that's gold order. There he is. Oh yeah. But his colors totally. are kind of swapped. Yeah. He's a literal so, palette swap. So yeah, gold order <laughs> is gold, and platinum, platinum. is supposed to be oh, platinum, that, mm, but he's purple. Hey. <laughs> I see what you did there, Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> we're catching on to your game. Yeah. It's some sort of you know, metal 
currency All right. thing. I used up our high potions, but we have tons of cast of cures, so I think we'll be okay. Think we'll be okay. It's probably going to get ridiculously hard. Probably. This is probably like oh, 30 well. floors. Oh, it's just a Quang again. If it's just one Quang I can handle just one Quang I really, the name makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> what, Quang Quang? Quang Quang. What's wrong with Quang Quang? I don't understand. I don't know. You just want to talk about Quang Quang for a second? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, three Quang Quangs? <laughs> three Quang Quangs felt like a bunch of bullshit. It did. They're not so bad when they're just casting, like, Ice 3 and, you know... You just catch him in a bad mood. You put him in a group. You know, one's the instigator. He's got to get the rest involved. And once you lose control of the class, you just can't get it back. That's true. That's what I know. Got to crack down. You have to. He's blowing up my phone. Oh, he's so popular. Oh, it's fun. Though. He's not an actual palette spot because his what? His cape is like what red? Yeah, his cape is definitely red. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not really into platinum all that much. What does he have? A platinum mansion full of platinum animals? <laughs> if he doesn't, I'm not really interested. But if he does... If he does, we can talk. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Maybe this is the Platinum Mansion. Maybe Silk's Tower is made of platinum. Whoa. But there's more than one platinum. That's true. It undermines their authority it's a family as individuals. Of oh, okay, maybe it's like a family. Okay, you're, you're making it's a, a family court. affair. Aww. They're all the, that's, this is Grandpa Platinum that we're fighting right now. Mm -hmm. You can hear the wheezes in between. <laughs> sword swings and... The creaking in his armor. Or is it his bones? Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, that's a, that was a joke of these kinds of the elderly are. Apologies. So, what's up? Uh, well, uh, Hooptober's progressing. Oh, yeah. Wait, I haven't. It's not October yet. No, but the challenge officially started on the 15th of September. <laughs> it's because it's the season. Okay. It's leading into it, you know. Is um, it pumpkin spice movie challenge? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, I haven't had any time this weekend to watch anything, but um, it's it's the start of my uh, like unofficial, you know, uh, Jalloween. Mm -hmm. um, I've got like thirty Italian films lined up for the first part of this. Did um, I watch Death Laid an Egg? Death Laid an Egg. Yeah, I told you about this before. I feel like you probably did. It's 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 the Italian like. Giallo, proto giallo, but that takes place on a poultry farm. Um, it's really weird. The thing about these movies is that while the plot is relevant to some degree, part mm -hmm. of what's more interesting about it, especially this one, because it's before, it doesn't have a ton of like crazy murder set pieces. It's primarily a mystery, mm -hmm. but it has like the, the music plays a really pop, like central role, and it's very bizarre avant-garde, like avant classical avant jazz kind of music it's really weird hmm. um and the editing is really experimental you know i mean there was this one scene where he's driving away from the, the only murder in the movie and it's shooting him head on and then it jump cuts like three times to different angles just in the span of like a couple shots it's very like hmm. french new wave kind of weirdness that's happening and so it's kind of interesting bizarre um yeah watch the lucio fulci's first giallo one on top of the other, aka Perversion Story, which is like a weird Italian remake <laughs> of, of uh, Vertigo. That's great. But it's been really interesting to me because, uh, I don't know, like seeing the, getting the sense of like the evolution from film noir to the German creamy, the criminal film, cr <laughs> still creamy that name. Creamy. It sounds so gross. I don't know if it's. I don't. I'm assuming it's an E because I figure most yeah. of my European language. Creamy. I don't even know. <laughs> that's Creamy. not. That's not a German accent at all. <laughs> so never mind. Maybe. Yeah, you know. But then I don't know because you get film noir and you get the creams then all in black and white until bloody black lace and it catapults them all into color and it's just really. It's really interesting. Hmm. It becomes. They, they become increasingly blurred and they show more and more on the screen, but. They become so experimental too in how they're put together, like and music being like a very central character, and the editing being really experimental, and the, the, the plots being non-linear or abstract or using dream logic. So it becomes kind of like the idea, of the mystery, at be kind of kind of becomes secondary to the actual experience of the film. Like, so I'm very excited. But I'm going in chronological order. So watch mm -hmm. two from the late '60s, and then uh, the first, like the golden age of the Giallo, probably starts with. Uh, Dario Argento's portrait with the crystal plumage. 
The bird with the crystal plumage. Yeah, it's the first in his animal trilogy. <laughs> Cat of Nine Tails and Four Flies of Grey Velvet. Of Which are also lined up, because I've never seen them. And I'm also doing some of the... I need, uh, I need you to see Suspiria, that's my... Suspiria? I feel yeah. like I know that name. That's, yeah, a, that's very, a pretty it's, famous it's well movie. well-known, right? yeah, yeah, for sure. Um... Oh, Do you have a Suspiria poster or something? I feel like... Or is it prominently displayed on your movie shelf? No. No? Okay. I just feel like I've seen Suspiria lately or something. I'm not sure. You might have. I don't know. I don't know what the context would be that I would see it. I don't know. Without being related to you somehow. Yeah, I have... I It, it doesn't have a Blu-ray yet, so it's like kind of like a thing. Hmm. It's a coming. Get excited, people. I, I, <laughs> See, with these Italian movies, though, because the color is so important, or you're hoping for like good color timing on the hmm. on the release, you know. Hmm. Anyway, that's my Claire's movie minute. Claire's movie minute. Just giving you an update. <laughs> uh, Choco mentioned that uh, you're watching Neon Maniacs, and that's one of my absolute favorite ridiculous '80s movies. Mm -hmm. I got it on the Code, code Red Blu-ray. Which, if you know anything about Neon Maniacs, the idea that it's on Blu-ray is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's really great. So I'm glad you saw that. I have, I have this movie called Spookies um, <laughs> coming up on, on, on deck. Yeah, Spookies and Neon Maniacs. Oh, come on. Oh, they tricked you with that oh, one. Oh, gee whiz. That's all. That's all I got. I mean, I watch a bunch of other stuff. You know, that's what I do. Mm -hmm. From David Cronenberg, the early, early David Cronenberg films... You know, I told you about Shivers. But I watched The Brood. Have you heard of The Brood? I, I compl That was in my, uh, you know, Evil Kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this mm -hmm. one, oh, oh. It's great. The Brood is great. Slow burn, but, like, it's... Creepiest? They're not like children. They're like, I think I told you about this already. They're like weird yeah. mutants. <laughs> Or is that the one where they, like, bred the whole town with, like, all the ladies? Oh, that was Village of the Damned. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I viewed that as a brood. Oh, it's oh, just Shinobi. some shinobis. Oh, just some shinobis. Wasn't that a show? It was a video game. That was, like, Sega's Ninja Gate. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Which, what is the correct pronunciation? I think it's Gaiden, but I don't know. Gaiden. 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 Got Eden? Got Eden. That's Speaking the, of that's Eden. That's the question of Fallout. Got, got Eden? Got Eden. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. no one's got it. Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, Chrissy started watching the Indiana, Indiana Genesis Evangelion. Oh, okay. I've never, never oh. watched it. I think it's, I might have caught pieces of episodes back when it was on I, TV. I got stuck in like a wiki article, like, I was reading some articles about it and stuff like, <laughs> like weird like cyborg theory and stuff like surrounding <laughs> it like you know, like this like Freudian wormhole yesterday <laughs> oh that sounds scary I got lost yeah oh it's really good though I feel like it has to be one of the seminal animes yeah I think it is for sure by most standards oh it's just a D general what do you think that would be dragon mm, delightful delightful general <laughs> <laughs> the delightful generals delicious <laughs> <laughs> deadly yeah, that sounds more That's probably correct. accurate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if it's accurate, it's not interesting. It's the, so. They're direct. They're just very straightforward. Oh, there we go. In their criticism. I wish I had more attack magic for this person. I kind of regret this loadout. Whatever. Mm. It'll be okay. I guess we don't need anything. Well, you know, whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Yeah. I mean, so far this isn't that bad, all things mm, considered. Not like not the occasional instant deaths, but we we have plenty of recovery items for that kind of thing. That's true. I'm hoping that will be fine. And if I, <laughs> I we haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty sure the elixirs work like they do in the future games, where they re restore all oh. HP and MP. <coughs> and if that's the case, we basically have a limitless well through yeah. Brad for <clears throat> recovery. But yeah, that would be. A, I think that's right. I think it will be fine. Just another elixir. No problem. Oh, I played, uh, we, uh, we know the devil. Did I tell you oh, that? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, Before I hadn't played it, I was just, I see. talked about it. But so. it's very cool and worth playing. How was your experience? Well, it's cool, um, because the whole premise of the game is that they're, you're interacting, or, I don't think you're really doing it, but there's, there's three characters, and the kind of premise is that in a group of three, like, it always ends up that, like, two kind of take, they, like, 
spend more time with each other than the other. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's it's kind of like an effort to balance the relationships. But it also takes place in a like a bizarre like church camp. But it has like weird surreal elements. Like they all have like witchcraft style radios. Like, but then you know, like. What's it, a witchcraft style radio? I don't know. It doesn't really explain. Like it, it assumes you already know. Like it, it treats you as if you're like dropped oh, into okay. the world. So like they're kind of like, um, they seem like like totems or something. But they receive like signals from God and and like they're they're out in the middle of a cabin waiting for like the devil to show up. But like and so like at the end, I don't know. I don't. Wanna, it's not worth spoiling. But but you can. There's there's four different endings, and in three of them. Like one of the characters is pushed out, mm-hmm. you know. But there's like a there's like a good ending, like the ultimate ending. So it wants you to replay it too and see all the different facets of the character. But like the dialogue is so well written, like it's so great. Like it manages really to give you um, very nuanced pictures of these characters. I thought mm-hmm. from very little, like it did it did a lot. Like I really, it was really great, um, and the art's really cool. So you did you play through to one of the endings? Or? I only played it um, one time, yeah. So I only got one of the endings. But Chrissy's played it like four times and got the the good ending. Okay. Um, but she, she she basically she was saying like you haven't like really played it until you've gotten that final ending. Hmm. Um, oh, it's just Groshara. Yeah. Look, his the floor by him is it's like green or brown? Uh, green. G- brown. It's brown he, like the ground. The little specks are green. His body's pretty gold looking. But with green elements too. Goldor's weird cousins, maybe. Yeah, or like the guardian's weird, weird cousin, because this is a maybe palace swap of the, the, of the guardian. Well, maybe the guardian's related to Goldor. Now you're just blowing the mind. I know. Cool. <laughs> I know. That's <laughs> what I do. That was my, int- that was my intention all along. Um, well, they're yeah. pretty weak. <laughs> yeah. I, what, I mean. Wait, we're not those legendary weapons. Like things are just yeah. Last time was crazy. Hopefully this time reason. follows it up. Yeah. I mean the loot has not been as exciting. This is just kind of a dungeon grinder. You know? Right, right. So it goes. Yeah. It yeah. is what it is. It is what it is. Um. 